Hello. Hi, how you doing? Calling from Planet Fitness. Understand that uh, Deborah was having some issues that she would like addressed. Issues with what? Uh, Planet Fitness. Oh, Planet Fitness. Yes. Uh, um, it was very hard. You can't get in touch with them except through email. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering when the um, March payment would be refunded since it was closed. It uh, closed down in March. Right, right. I understand. Uh, from what we have here, let me just pull this up right here. You are a black card member, is that correct? Yes. All right. Let me pull up here. Let's see. I absolutely love Planet Fitness. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a shame right yeah. now. I, I I'm with the understanding. I don't know why they shut the gyms down because people are trying to stay healthy, and you you take that ability away. Uh, I understand that this spreads, but if people can exercise with masks, they should be able to do so. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they're trying to. There's too many people that don't listen. Is the problem right. because I know whenever I go into Planet Fitness, hardly anybody wants thing down and yeah. it's it's disgusting it's like so lazy it is that they can't wipe stuff down and i'm thinking um i know i went to my son's gym whenever he went to jmu it was the university and he took me to his school's gym and we worked out and they actually had wet wipes that you pulled up mm-hmm. and they did like three machines four machines because they kept like they were super saturated yeah, they were still and I, I was thinking yeah people are too lazy to spray and wipe but if they have that i think they might use it more Mm -hmm. i really do because it is easier yeah well they have some of these these independently owned chains or uh, of uh, locations there and they try to cut corners wherever they can Uh, i think they personally would save a a lot more uh, money instead of you know every time they wipe down a machine uh with the paper and the spray and then you gotta throw it away where you could do a couple machines with the wipes I think so, too, because honestly, I mean, because I'm a germaphobe anyway, but I, I mean, I'm I'm bad about it, but I'm not, like, ridiculous. I don't know if that makes sense, but mm. I, I do what you're supposed to, basically. But, yeah, you could use those wipes, and for me to say that, believe me, they have to look wet, because I don't like whenever you spray something on and it doesn't look wet, you know? Right, right. <laughs> I want it to be nice, and it, it really does do the job. I mean, it, it's great. If they did that, I mean, I think they'd save money, really. If you can wipe your ass with them, you can wipe a couple machines down with them. (laughs) That's right. Uh, From what I see here, uh, the company says what they're going to do is they're going to continue to charge the monthly rate, and then they're just going to credit you on the back end of the membership. So you'll get get an additional uh, few months added on with no charge, but that's on the back end. Well, mine is nineteen ninety nine, and I've been yeah. with them now a couple years. Right. So maybe two and a half years. So I really don't need that. Like I'm never going to stop. So right. that's um, really not going to benefit me. I might block them. Then yeah. and did you my see? Um, to let them go. Well, did you see uh, also uh, because it's such hard times right now? You you remember the the yearly uh, the yearly dues? It's uh, forty dollars. Yes. Yearly dues. That's gonna be that's gonna be tripled for the next year, so it'll be a hundred and twenty. Uh, it's usually only like thirty nine ninety nine. How much is it? Yeah, thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. For the, yeah. Yeah, for the, yeah. the once a year membership, uh, like the maintenance and, and the dues there. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a hundred and twenty. Uh, now, so that what they're trying to do is trying to recoup some of this money that they've lost during this time. I don't understand though, because they're, they're, we're actually getting uh, at Planet Fitness as a whole, we're actually getting uh, thirty-two billion dollars uh, for the bailout for the small business bailout. So they're not really well. Losing people a whole are lot. greedy. Yeah. No, people are greedy. That's the problem. Usually, your answer to anything is money. Right, and these these machines, uh, they they don't even get them uh, directly from. Uh, from a retailer, uh, they actually what they do is they go down to the Compton swap meet and then they pick up a few of them. Uh, and they usually get them very cheap and they put in Chinese parts to fix them. So they're they're not even top of the line really. That's why they're breaking all the time. Yeah, is this the um, um, pissed consumer? No, no, this is Planet Fitness. Oh, okay. Because it took me directly there, and I'm like, why did it take me there? I don't know. 
Oh, no. I started out with Planet Fitness thinking that that, and then all of a sudden I'm getting emails from the piss consumer. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nope, this is, with the word Planet Fitness, we are direct Planet Fitness. Uh, okay, I appreciate you calling I, I, me back. I, yeah, no Your problem. Your number came up unknown. Oh yeah, it's been it's been doing that. All the lines are really congested right now because we're dealing with a lot of customer problems. Uh, from what I see here, also did did because um, your location marked down that you did some damage at their location. Is that is that true? The what? That you damaged some property there at the location? No. Okay. Let's... Where did that come from? Well, I'm, I'm just reading. <laughs> I'm just reading right here because they're showing. Uh, they're showing a future charge. Uh, let's see. Oh, Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. I see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, you you know about the showers that are in the locker room? They, they have the uh, one that's a handicap. It has the bench in the shower. I don't know because I never shower there. Ooh. I'm a germaphile. Okay, that, that's, okay, that's weird because that's where this it stems from. Uh, they, oh, my God. I... I don't know how they would know this. Uh, you know, we have the individual showers right. in there, and they have the handicap stall where there's a bench. So, like, if they're handicapped, it's a lot more room they could sit down if they need to be, so they can finish showering. Um, it said that she, that the one of the female employees was cleaning the locker room, and she heard moaning from the shower, and she pulled the curtain back, and you were sitting on on the bench, and apparently you had the shower head in hand, and you were spraying, no. spraying your your genitalia. You know what? Uh, this is a this is a pre- this is one of those calls that aren't real. What do you mean? Well, I, I think you're fake because nobody calls and says that to somebody. And oh no, I'm just and, reading right here from the computer system. Uh, I was just I wondering what the are. future charge was. Yeah. So how much is the charge? Uh, it looks like they were just charging for a new shower head. It was uh, let's see, thirty five twenty nine. Oh, and let me guess, you want me to pay you right now. Oh, no, no. Uh, they put a freeze on that right now, charging any type of damage from the clubs. No, absolutely. You don't have to do um, it. You don't no have to do it now. It's deferred. What What date did that supposedly happen on? Uh, let me look. This was February. Let's see here. February 29th. I wasn't even at the gym in February because I 20- fell off the wagon for a few months. Yeah, it says February 29th. <laughs> No, I wasn't even at the gym. My son's wedding was in December, mm-hmm. and I was making so many cookies, and I fell off the wagon after his wedding, and I didn't go back to the gym. I still haven't gone back this year. Oh, And I then see. they closed it right whenever I was going to go. Okay, so you have a cookie Yeah, you have a, I haven't have cook- been have to the gym, addiction? so I'm not even. They scan your card, and oh. they would know if I was at the gym. Oh, yeah, they scan every, and, every and time my- you come in. Your phone or your card. Exactly. And they couldn't have scanned me because I wasn't there. And I know the manager very well there. She's a very good friend of mine. Okay. Uh, we became friends for me going. So this is totally, don't know where you're coming from. Okay. It, well, it, it, mar- it, marked, it marked on here as well from your account that you're tipping the scales at 350 pounds. <laughs> I'm in awesome shape, dude. <laughs> I, that's just what this says. I can see. I can see the. I can see the. My name's what's Charles. Your name? My name's Charles, uh, and I can see from the Charles picture. Too. I mean, I can see the jowls on you, uh, Charles Redding. R e d d i n g. You know what? Yes. You know what? Um, I bet you any money. You think you have a big dick and big balls, don't you? You stroke them every day. My balls are bigger than my dick. Oh wow! Then I I would definitely go to the hospital for that. I don't leave. My, I don't leave my mother's basement because of it. Thank you for bringing it up. It's a real sore spot.